You finally gave in to peer pressure from your geeky friends and you're getting a mechanical keyboard. But what key switches should you get? Now I'm on the record saying that Cherry MX switches are the gold standard, but there are tons of keyboard enthusiasts who strongly disagree with that statement. So today we are conducting a blind test He's not, nowhere near me, is he? No, not yet. With no less than 22 of the most popular key switches to see which ones people, including me, like clacking on best. Ruggable rugs are spill and stain resistant and also machine washable. They'll stay in place with their non-slip pads and you can use code LINUS15 to get 15% off your order and free shipping at the link below. Now, some of you may remember that we did do a blind key switch test in a previous video, but today's test is way better in basically every way. We're testing way more key switches, all on the same board with the same key caps, and with a way bigger sample size of our weird, quirky test subjects. Oh, I don't like this chair. What a diva. This is how we do it. Now, we could have simply arranged all 22 keyboards around the room and let people wander around free range but we figured they would get too tired and unfocused to rigorously test each board, so here's what we're gonna do instead. We've divided the switches into three main categories, tactile, linear, and clicky switches. So each participant will actually do three rounds of testing. That's right, and within each round, you only ever have two keyboards in front of you at any given time. You just tell me if you prefer keyboard A or keyboard B, and then I take away the losing board and give you a new one. And we used a random number generator to determine which order you experience the keyboards in to remove even more bias. So, you wanna get started? I do. All right, then we'll begin with round one, all the tactile keyboards. Hmm. Um, these are not the same, what? How are these even the same class? These are surprisingly different. This one's so much more subdued. Quiet, stealthy. Oh, oh no. Ugh. Oh. Eh. Are these even mechanical? <laughs> hmm. It's kind of nice, it's soft but not mushy. I mean, this, this might as well just be a membrane. Oh, beautiful. Oh, am I gonna pick this one even though I didn't like it right away? <laughs> These are brutal. No, thank you. I don't really like this one. <laughs> That's your keyboard. This is my keyboard? That's it. Two islands. Xylance? What's that? <clears throat> well, this is okay. This feels familiar. Very familiar. Easier to type on. Smoother. These almost feel like they're more premium. Mm, it's okay. It's the Tesla. I don't like this one quite as much. I can't quite describe why. This one's kind of chonky. Still feels a little membrane-y. Oh, nope, nope. That's your keyboard. That's my board. So, what is it? Zelios V2. Ah. Neat. Uh, it's not like overpowering in the noise. Uh, it's smooth. Uh, it's very comfortable. Ooh. This one sings to me. You hear that? <laughs> so much twanginess. Listen to that. B feels a little, I don't know, thin? Maybe it's just the mechanical sound, or the metal sound. Whoa, that's heavy. Ugh, this one's gotta have some strong fingers to use this, baby. This one's weird, it like takes more force to push down right away. Like the tactile bumps at the top, but then it kind of takes a lot of force throughout. There's a lot of resistance, which I think is what makes it feel mushy. Heavy always felt like quality to me, but I never liked typing on it as much. That would be annoying for me. I couldn't type on this all day. I like them, but there's no way I'd be able to type on them comfortably all day. Oh, I hate that. Don't like that. I don't like this one. Nope. I feel like I'm at my eye exam all over again. And you don't know if the answers you're saying are right, but it's just all subjective, so it doesn't matter. Unless there is a right and wrong. 
This is terrible. I feel like I'm a typist in a courtroom drama stenographer. This one's mildly more satisfying. I, I, I can't decide. Oh, these are pretty similar. Medium tactile. It's pretty light in the press. It just doesn't feel like it takes as much pressure to type. A is really easy. I mean, opposite. I was saying if I'm typing, I would like this one more. Uh, I have to choose this one. Yeah, this one's nice. This one feels pretty good, but I'm pretty sure it's a clone. Watch me be just like totally wrong. That would be pretty funny. The one where you're like, I hate that. Guess what that was? What? Cherry brown? Nailed it. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you did it. What? Really? I didn't know I'd like cherry browns. What a coincidence. Ah. Sweet. Yeah. Actually, I think the keyboard that Linus has at home that I really like is a brown. Okay, what 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 category are we in? Linear. Linear. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. I can pretty much guarantee I'm gonna hate them all. Why? Why it's a relative we... test. Sort of like, you know. Do you want poop or diarrhea? Like. Ugh. Oh. This is easier to type on than this one. This is a bit more of what I want in like a linear switch, like really low force. Oh, these, these feel like blues. I mean, they're not, but they feel like it. Oh man, you could really press these down quick. Keyboard B feels really premium for some reason. It's like the switch just like has a tighter tolerance, so it just goes in smooth and like quickly. Very smooth, very easy to press. These ones feel like a little bit more refined, almost like the stroke is just smoother overall. It feels so tight and just more premium for some reason. Right off the bat, I like this one. Just like, just the feel of it. And what is my champion called? Ah! 629 Tangerine. Oh, 62 gram. I just said 69. No sh Huh. Yes! Yes, I am a genius. I'm a keyboard genius, baby. Huh. Crazy. The sound and like, it just feels like slightly smoother maybe. I don't know if that's right, but these are really easy going. I could type on these all day. Are they expensive? New one. Ooh, is this, um, do you remember that? Oh, oh my God. Okay. These are very soft. Holy crap. Wow. Oh, like typing on boobs? Oh God, no, no. Mm, mm, mm. Ugh. Oh, I really like this. I don't think I've ever typed on something like this before. It's fighting me. It's kind of nice. <laughs> it, yeah, it feels really nice. I don't know. It's so quiet. It's stealthy. It's like a stealth keyboard. These are much heavier. Tiring and mushy. Wow, so I guess some people must really like having a lot of resistance on their keys, eh? What have I chosen? Let's play the lottery. The Rose... Rosalias? Rosalios. Rosalios. Like if I was at a beach and I needed a keyboard to type on. Toes in the sand. <laughs> type it away on the mechanical keyboard. This would be the one. It sounds like the one I have at home. No, I don't think I like this either. Am I dead or alive? I don't know. These feel like blacks or something. Too much actuation force. These are too heavy for me. That's your keyboard. What is cool. It? That is a Gateron Ink Black. Gateron. Gateron Ink Black. Black Ink. Black ink. I actually just wrote it backwards. Ah. <laughs> Oh boy. Really light. There's kind of a, a gritty feeling to this. Oh, I don't know. This feels actually quite similar to this one over here. Ooh, oh, oh, this is this is a tight race. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> These are so similar. These might even be the same thing for all I know. Oh, these are really close, but I guess I'm gonna stick with A. Telios. I've never heard of that. What's that? Like, if you like linear cherry keyboards, that's probably great. I don't. 
I just like things that are easy to type on and don't require much force. Is this a common one to like? No, but. Oh. Can I go back to the one with the red ones on the bottom? Oh, we doing clicky next? You know, I used to like clicky keyboards. I really don't anymore. They're all loud. Hey, just the way people like them, right? <laughs> it's like if you were like if you were like trying to type without bothering somebody, and you're like, <laughs> what's the password? I really do not like clicky switches. Oh, it's more Jake's thing. This is gonna be the best category. <laughs> I already love it. Ooh. Ooh, clickier, stronger, faster. This is not bad. Whoa, whoa. God, that is a sharp click. The click on this is very noticeably different. If it was Cherry, I'd be very surprised. I really like uh, keyboard B. It really gives me that very sharp feedback that I'm actually hitting things. If I was trying to piss off my roommate, Ooh, definitely this one. This one's like, I'm just pressing down and it's like, okay, yeah, you're pressing, boom. All right, that's fine. This one's like, engage. I have a feeling this one was polarizing because the, the click is very like affirmative. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to engage thrusters every time I click. You're gonna run out of fuel that way. It's like short throw, but like so nice sounding. Nope, the more I type on it, the worse it gets. Never mind, Kate. These ones are slightly lighter than this keyboard. Who would use this? What a monster. <laughs> and I think I like that because they are a little bit faster, but they do have a nice definite click. You gotta live alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one's definitely more clicky and part of me really likes that. All right, what do we got here? Sherbert? Sherbet? Sherbert. Sherbert? Sherbet? Sherbet? Sherbert? Sherbert? Sherbet? Sherbet? Sherbert? Sherbet? 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 Sherbert. Those are brand new, I think. That's a nice sounding switch. It feels good. Stabilization's nice. Yeah, they feel great. Wait, this one's like, almost like grainier. These feel a lot like blues. The click is so emphasized that I would almost say that they're like fake blues. Ooh, I think, I, oh yes, I, I like, I like clicky a lot more. This is a bit more familiar feeling, I think. This one definitely feels more like keyboards that I have experience with, and I'm trying to keep that bias out of the picture. I think that these are blues, but I don't know. If you told me one of these was a cherry, I would guess that it was this one. I'm gonna guess that these are like the box jades or box navies. Now nah, this sound kind of hollow. If I'm gonna pick a keyboard based on what it sounds like, it better sound good. This is a kale blue. Sure. Wow. I threw quite a few out because they didn't have enough force. Oh, this one really gives you feedback. Like you can really feel that you're typing. This feels familiar. Ooh, the click on these switches. Wow, that is aggressive. I think I'm on a typewriter. It just makes you feel like you're getting into the mainframe. It's almost fatiguing to listen to in the same way that when you listen to like really accurate high resolution headphones, it can be fatiguing because it's it's like too realistic. So satisfying to click. Oh my god. Very heavy like break force. Like there's a lot of resistance before it goes. I think it's all in the way it just like travels down. This feels really tight. I think if I had these switches in like my control and shift, that would be cool. Or like on a numpad, but I wouldn't want to be typing on these all day. Hmm. <laughs> this feels horrible. Keep it. Okay. You're done. Done? What did you choose? I don't know. Let's see. Box Jade. I'm happy with that. That's sick. A new contender enters the ring. Oh, it's so much louder though. These are very obnoxious. This is like if you want your coworkers to hate you. Oh, the sound of those are brutal. But I like the feel of them. That is one generic ass clicky keyboard. 
You like that? Nope. Who makes, oh, Cherry. Yeah, well. That's a generic ass keyboard. <laughs> yep, goes to show you how personal a decision this is. These are clicky, but not obnoxious. Very suave, I like them. Don't like that. This one's more like a oh. <laughs> I feel like if I was writing, it'd be good, but I don't write that much. Yeah, it's okay. A little mushy, I think. This one right here, also kind of weird. It has the same sort of like, not very much force, lots of force, not very much. That feels odd. Nope. Just from a gaming perspective, I would definitely go with B again. That's the keyboard. This is it. The box white. Cool. That seems pretty good. I've, I've never felt happier. I still would not pick this actually because I like the other one better, but. What other one? Silence. Maybe you should go back to Clicky and then get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a ton of fun and I am floored by the results that we got. We saw a lot of the same switches winning again and again, pretty much regardless of the participant's apparent enthusiast level. And then oddly enough, cherry switches almost never won in the linear and clicky categories, but the MX Browns were by far the most popular switch among the tactile switches. I don't know if that's because of weaker competition in the category, uh, or if it's because lots of participants were familiar with Browns, so they just feel like home, or maybe it's just plain old a good switch or some combination of the three. Funnily enough, even though I daily drive Browns, I was one of the ones that didn't end up choosing Browns. Now, guys, of course, we couldn't test every switch in existence. We would have really liked to have included Logitech's Romer G's, for example, but those switches use a different keycap mount, so we would have needed a custom solution. So in the end, we asked the community and we tried to source most of the popular ones that they asked for. Big thanks to Drop.com for sending over 25 of their control keyboards full of switches, as well as Michael at Novel Keys, Henry at Zeal Generation, and Jason at The Key Company for providing all these awesome enthusiast switches. You guys are heroes, and I'm positive there's gonna be a lot of people at our office rethinking their keyboards now that they know what's out there. I feel like my mind is open. Open to a message from our sponsor. The Aorus GeForce RTX 2080 Super has eight gigs of GDDR6, three HDMI ports, three DisplayPort ports, and a USB Type-C. Their WinForce Stack 3X 100 millimeter cooling system helps keep your card cool. And naturally, of course, it features RGB, which is customizable through their RGB Fusion 2.0 software. Given that it's RTX, it's got ray tracing for more realistic rendering of lighting and shadows, and you can check it out today at the links in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for, uh, you know what, let's do a throwback call out. Why don't you check out our tour of the Omron factory that we did with Logitech, where we checked out the creation of their Romer G switches. You know what, why don't we link the Cherry factory tour as well? That'd be pretty sweet. How are these things made? Now you'll know. Is my head like oriented up in a weird way? I almost feel like Stevie Wonder. Maybe don't put that in.